A very good afternoon to one and all. I am Dr. Pallavi Patil from Modern College of Pharmacy, Nigri. And today I am taking a one of a good topic of pharmaceutical analysis. Uh, in that, the subtopic is a gravimetric analysis. And the gravimetric analysis is a very good technique to use amount of analytes present in the whole compound. So you have some measurement the total mass, whatever you have to specificized and the gravimetric analysis is depend on the comparing the masses of a two compounds contain the analyst now if you are going to take a gravimetric analysis procedures and you are just going to the some synthesize and at the end product you want to realize that the whole compound get uh, composed or contains in a such a way now you have to just go for the precipitation and filtration washing technique now this technique when you are going to start the gravi by gravimetric analysis it is very useful to right way of the precipitation to right way of the separation and isolation of your extract mass as well as you can quantify and measurement of your mass so this technique is very useful for the your mass uh, percentage of it calculations the gravimetric analysis in the mass of the iron in the pure compound can be determined and later on whatever the pure compound has presence of your ion presence and later on you have to find out the percentage of mass present in the same type of the ions in the whole impure compound and the gravimetric analysis is also useful for the amount of analyte identification determination and measurement the co precipitations if you are taking the precipitation technique and you just started a simple any uh, precipitation technique and later on you feel that ki whatever the targeted desired compound you are expected rather than that the precipitations have some unwanted ppt on the surface which is not required if you um, suppose your targeted compound is somehow uh, off white and instead of the off white it is a just a muddy type of uh, some dark color scheme so you feel that ki there is certain deposition of your uh, precipitized compound so this is the type of the reticulous things happening when the procedure of precipitations lead with the co-precipitations this technique this co-precipitations is actually uh, cannot be sometime unavoidable but you can minimize through such a way you are using a very good technique of washings so you can minimize the co-precipitations so the post precipitation means if the precipitation stand in the contact with some other liquor so the contaminations happens on the precipitation compound and the impurity gets stick on the surface so you can feel that whatever the expected desire precipitation is not as good as you are expected so the post precipitation is the contamination of your solvent or other liquor what is a surface absorption surface absorption is unwanted deposition adsorption on your surface of precipitations you don't want to it you just want to reduce the amount of surface area as well as unavailable unwanted surface adsorptions but it may be a minimizer it may be a possible to get control by washing a very good technique by washing a removing surface of the samples of the preservatives or, or, or the pre, uh, precipitizers now what type of the procedures you are leading with the gravimetric analysis is very simple technique it's very good in the accurate way also first your compound whatever you are just use for the gravimetric analysis should be a dry then weight the weight should be in the accurate at least the six digits then dissolve the expected solvent whatever you are now the precipitizing agent or precipitizing reagent somehow get excess so the expectations your precipitizing compound get accurate and a good yield but it may be a required or it may be sometimes not required a precipitizing agent but whenever the requirement is there so you have to add then coagulant the precipitation by heat some sonication some heat some boiling you use and just coagulate your precipitate then later on the filtration is there filtration is a very good thing from the um, 
just go to closest your precipitation compound by a mother liquor then wash the precipitized washing is a very very important because whatever the solvent you use whatever the compound you use it may be interfere with the solvent so the washing gate a chances to remove the contamination of a solvent mother liquor it used by the procedure so and then dry and drying is very important use of oven microwave and different type of the drying techniques you can use anywhere and just wait your constant weighing use a 6 to 10 times you are constantly weighing and whatever the constantly weighing came you just average it and then finalize your constant weight then prepare a certain solvent if you know the amount of solute in the solvent so you can identify the concentration of your samples and then go for the separation of your desired chemical constitution after that isolate it your constitutions and just computerize what type of the mass what amount of the quantity it of the mass get calculated this is possible by the gravimetric analysis so for examples if you are leading with the uh, barium sulfate um, precipitation by the gravimetric analysis this is a very very simple technique the first year b form division and this may be a come for your final exam also for 5 to 8 marks but the expectations in the answer is the procedure how the mechanism happens and what the percentage of accuracy now the barium sulfate contain a 97.5 percentage not more than 100.5 percentage of barium sulfate after the gravimetric analysis now when the gravimetric analysis you are started by the isolation or dark heated compound is barium sulfate first you have to just consider a barium chloride solution in a certain defined volume measure the volume and then treat it with the dilute or the concentration that is a four normal sulfuric acids okay so whenever it get treated with this your final product the barium precipitized as a barium sulfate now this is the procedure in this in this um, um, uh, figure you feel that the sulfate having a negative charge that is S O4 it's a negative charge the barium itself having a positive charge so there is a positive negative having attractions and the barium deposited on the sulfate so the the stickness of this get gathered together forming a coagulant and precipitized and so in these are the reaction chemical reaction barium chloride plus uh, sulfuric acid the synthesized barium sulfate and with the two molecule of HCl now in this the mass of the barium the whole of the calculations by if you are considering 20, uh, 233.36 gram of barium sulfate definitely it carries on the 137.36 gram of the barium okay and the rest of is the your sulfate compound present in your whole barium sulfate now this is the entire procedures whatever I am explaining you the diagrams whatever I am explaining with the um, reactions so you have to consider the standard flask then how much volume you have to add after that a uh, heating and boiling then cooled it then using some precipitizing agent just remove just uh, let it be for the 5 to 10 minutes then cool it stand by the precipitizations and hours and later on filter it using a certain Wattman filter paper that is 40 to 42 number of filter paper and then you have to just precipitize wash with a very good quantity of the certain that the solvent is not a contaminated at all and after that uh, just use a certain um, good filter papers and electric burner to just filter it and precipitate separately then desiccate cool and at the end uh, cool the crucible in the is the weight okay so this is the procedures now the gravimetric analysis is definitely have some advantages now what is the advantages gravimetric analysis is used to determine the atomic mass of many elements to the six 
figure accuracy six digit number of the accuracy they are giving the atomic mass of the identified and determination of any elements it is a more little um, instrument having a certain error but not required a series of the error get contaminated repetitiously there are very good for the unknown samples to uh, calculate the gravimetric analysis this is the good thing for the advantages now what is the disadvantages of these things the gravimetric analysis uh, having a certain disadvantages like this you are just stick to the only a single element detection there is a certain limitation for the gravimetry for the group type of elements is not possible at the same time at a same uh, Uh, same procedures and if you are comparing this gravimetric analysis to the different type of modern technique that is flash combustion uh, which is combined with the gas chromatography or certain uh, tlc plate there is isolation and separation of your uh, compounds ions uh, or you can say that at the same time uh, there are the very uh, hyphenated technique is uh, used in the industry levels in the uh, pharmaceutical uh, medicines uh, like that the isolation then uh, chemical constitution chemical uh, phytochemical constitution identification as well as determination and separation out and separation with the some a lead um synthetic way lead path pathways so this is not possible for the gravimetric analysis there is certain restrictions if you are selected a single element detection this is only possible the uh, gravimetric analysis but if you are taking a group of the element identification at the same time so this is not a possible so instead of this gravimetric analysis there is a tlc plate hp tlc then uh, mass and liquid attached that is lcms liquid chromatography as well as the mass is attachment so this may be a chances in the gravimetry not in the gravimetric analysis the rest of the hyphenated technique you have to used but for the basic uh, b farm level of the students and uh, synthetic students for the medicinal synthesis uh, this gravimetric analysis is very useful particularly for the m farm students they are using the synthetic preparation synthetic way organic chemistry playing so initially before they are going the hyphenated techniques these gravimetric techniques may be useful for their synthetic errors dissolving precipitation how the filtration they need what is the procedures how they increase the yield after the completion of the uh, any synthesis process any um, chemical process and any mechanism how the mechanic chem chemically they uh, prove that the yield is goes rise by repetition of the gravimetric analysis so this is very very useful for the um, those students who are using the synthetic organic chemistry preparations so with this i am just thank you to uh, all my viewers and all my uh, listeners they are uh, listening very carefully and giving their valuable time if anyone have uh, any doubts and any queries regarding this gravimetric analysis they can just um, add to a uh, questions to me uh, this video soon i upload to the youtube channels and in the subscriptions box i will definitely add my email address as well as link with the next one video which is maybe a based on the same uh, topic or the different topics so you can ask me and um, with the my email address and definitely as soon as possible i will mail to you uh, by your uh, satisfactory answer expected so very um, thank you very much and uh, stay at home stay safe uh, and have a good day thank you very much